Hello everyone, I am here to go ahead and that. do a sh short little video of these uh, Model 1's thermal changing poly gels. Don't mind this now, it's just something that didn't work out. So I have my brush. I'm using the spatula. A file. Something to clean my brush off with. And I have my dappin dish. And I have um what's it called? Non-acetone nail polish remover in it. Because personally, it works best. Denise John has a video on that. It is amazing. It really does work. The, um, I used to use rubbing alcohol, but there's a hair in there. But it was drying my brushes out and making them fray. Okay, so I've already put tips on these and I've buffed them. So the poly gel will stick. First, I'm going to be using number three, which is natural pink and white. Right off the bat, I can already tell you that these are a lot softer than the one that I'm used to. I usually use um, your sugar, a nail, uh, yogi. Is that how you say it? And of course I can't take it off my nails. Did I miss some cute on the first time? That's not gonna work, is it? There we go. Okay. Okay, so right now it's kind of in a combination between white and pink. So let's take a little bit. This is a really, really soft. Really soft. Let me zoom in. Like it's kind of leveling on my um, spatula. Okay. It's really, really soft. I kind of like it. It seems to be moving into all the right places a lot easier. Yeah, I definitely used too much. It's so soft. This is crazy. I'm so much more used to more firmer poly gel. But this is just really crazy to me. My brush. Wow. Okay, so there's that one. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for a minute and then I'll come back and do the next one. Okay, so it is cured, and now it is solid white. 
So it looks like the heat makes it white and the cold will make it pink. Now we're going to go on to the next one, which is number five. And that is plum to pink. color. Make sure I made sure to clean my spatula so I don't contaminate colors. Let's see. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I love that. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. Wow. Make sure I get the sides. This is really, really soft. Really soft. It's pretty crazy to me. Oh, I love it. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try this for a minute, and then I'll be back. Okay, so... Here it is. I'm assuming that the color before was the plum, and this is the pink, even though it looks, oops, it looks somewhat whitish to me in the center here, but next, we are doing number six, which is amber and pink. Herself a nice little bit of that. That's a very peachy tone. Very, very pretty. Okay. Let's spread it out. Yeah, I figured I got too much for that one. Just... You don't need a lot of liquid on your brush. This stuff is so soft. I'm gonna cure this too. Okay, so I took it out of the lamp after being in there for a minute and I accidentally put my finger on the pinky to discover that it's not fully cured. So I'm gonna see if I can fix it and then I'll stick it back in the lamp. This one seems to be cured. That one's cured. For some reason that one did not cure. Yeah, I can still completely manipulate it after being in there for a minute. Maybe it's completely moving around. Doesn't seem to have cured at all. 
So I'm gonna try this again. I'll put it in for another minute, see if it cures. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's cured now. So I have a little bit of non-acetone nail polish remover on my cotton pad. And I'm just gonna wipe these down because I'm gonna file them next. This is a 180 grit nail file. I'm just going to use the 180 side. It seems to file pretty easily. I just love poly gel. It's like one of my most favorite things that's come out. I know this is kind of boring, so I'm going to go ahead and file the rest off camera, and then I'll be back to top coat. Alrighty, so they're filed, cleaned them off, and now we're going to top coat. Oh, I'm using my Your Sugar No White top coat, in case anybody was wondering. Is filed very smoothly just like most poly gels do doesn't take a lot to get the shape you want especially if you take the time to begin with to get the shape when you're applying it I'm running out Last one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cure these for a minute and then I'll be right back to talk about them. Okay, so overall, these are very nice to work with. These poly gels from Model Ones. Uh, the color changing, I don't really see too much of a difference. Like this one is super white to me. I didn't really see much of a difference when they were cold, except for this one, which is the Plum to Pink, number five. But then, of course, you also have to take into account that this is a fake hand with fake nails. If it's on your actual nails, your nail bed will be the warmest and the tip will be the coldest, especially depending on your weather and your season and what the temperature is outside. So you could have the warm nail bed with the warm color and then the cold tip with the cold color, which would give you a nice little gradient. But overall, I think they are worth it. They work really nicely. They file nicely. 
I love the smoothness and the softness of them. They're very, very nice. Holy gels. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you can see the colors and the numbers just in case you're interested. And they have other colors as well. I just do not have them. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something from this. And I'll see you next time. Bye.